Project Zoika. That's what the intel on Oasis pointed to. Valen's mysterious mission in Africa. I was supposed to find answers, but left with more questions. My orders are to find out what the informant knows, to fill in the blanks. Problem is, he's being held at a POW camp to the north. And the only way through is Halfaya Pass. I'm hitching a ride with a long-range desert group. But the Germans have dug in with Flak 88s and a heavy motor pool. We can't afford a massive firefight. I'll have to take out the guns and help the LRDG push through. The pass is heavily fortified with plenty of narrow spaces and close quarter surprises. I'll need to watch my six and pack a couple of mines to cover a quick exit. I suppose they don't call it Hellfire Pass for nothing. Alright guys, welcome back to Sniper Elite 3. This is mission 3 in the game. Um, looks like we're going to head over to a POW camp to get some more information about this um, general's um, project. But before we get there, we've got to pass through Hellfire Pass. Which is heavily defended by enemy, you know, guns and tanks looks like. So... Before we head on, I'm just going to look at the loadout one second and make sure we've got the right equipment to take with us. So we've got two med kits. I reassigned this before we start recording just to um, have a look at what it was. So we've got two grenades, landmines, dynamite. Two med kits is enough because I'm not hoping to get shot too much by going the stealth route. Um, yeah, with that, those two grenades are fine. We might, we might need them grenades. Okay, so. With, Let's just drop out with that and start the mission. Okay, so we just jumped off the convoy there. Looks like we're gonna go and destroy the enemy flat cannons. Just to um, allow the rest of our conv convoy to pass through with ease. So it's another lone mission. Not seeing any enemies at the moment. There's a little camp thing over there, some rocks. Another camp there. We'll head over. Nice and slow. Not seeing anyone. There's no one sitting here having a smoke, is there? Nope. Okay, so let's head up the left side. Let's quickly take a look at the map before we head on. Okay, so the objective is just um, through this open section, then through a tiny gap. There's the objective there. It's only 120 meters away. What's, there's a guard, there's a soldier there. Okay, so we marked one. This one, this, oh, hello. I didn't even see that gap. Okay, so. He's too far away to see us. I'm not too sure how many enemies are in this area. I'm not seeing any on the mini-map, and normally you can see them. If you haven't actually spotted them just yet. It shows you like little markers showing where you were. That there's enemies there. Looks like there's one over there. Yep. There's one there as well. Gotta make sure to keep low. They're Normally, like too far away to spot us at that distance, especially when we're crou crouched in the bushes. Like the eye in the bottom left is quite squinted there. So I'm gonna go around the back of this guy. Let's get the pistol out. Let's get the rock equipped as well in case we need to distract anyone. Can we go? What's this? We can't jump over this. This is just a big, massive gap, a big canyon. Okay, so. Guard opposite. There we go. He's walking away. We can take out this guy with a knife kill. Looks like he's walking away. How do we cross this then? There's a bridge right there. I think we might need to go around these rocks to get to the bridge. Don't want to be running around too much. So let's stay crouched in these bushes. Looks like that soldier's going around those rocks. So he's not a problem. 
Got one right there looking in our direction. Might have to distract this one for a rock. Let's get a bit closer. Okay, we'll be on the tree for the moment. What button is it to throw again? I can't remember. I think it's R1. Okay, so let's throw a rock over there to distract him. Okay, so he's turned away. We can get off and move a bit quicker. Just keep an eye on that mark on the right. Make sure the yellow doesn't start filling up to red. Yeah, he's walking away. That's fine. There's no more soldiers on these bridges, it doesn't look like. Okay, what's this? In the visual menu, you can assign favourites to left, down, and right. I'm alright using the, the wheel for the moment, so I don't need to assign any favourites just yet. Okay, so he's just he's still mooching around. What's this? Looks like we've got some trip mines. Um, let's see our binoculars out, because it looks like, as a go, we've got some guards in the distance. Some soldiers. That's just a hat We're on top of a rifle. Any one of these rooftops? There's one there. Gotta take out the guys on the rooftops because they've got the biggest view distance, I think. Um, I don't wanna. I don't think I'm gonna head around this side because there's, there's less buildings and there's gonna be less chance of enemies sitting in them. It's like a windmill type thing there. Find those 88s. Okay, so we've got three objectives now. One's 600 meters, 400. I'm gonna go for the nearest one first, but before we go in that direction, I'm just gonna have a little scout out from the, this side. Oh, look at that, we've got a sound distraction there. Let's get a sniper ready. So we can take some shots with. Oh, it's the, um, it's the exhaust on that car. There must be someone inside that. Let's keep him alive for now. The guy drive, uh, revving the car. Okay, we're gonna go for that guy over there next time he revs, I think. Here's the, here's the distraction marker. The masking sound. There's a, seen a, two more guys there, and the little kill cam animation following the bullet. There's a guy right there, like behind the truck. Okay, there's a guy up there as well we need to get. I'm gonna ho hopefully get another masking sound before he moves away. Come on. He's gonna walk away. There it is. Come on, give the, give the marker. Give the, this the marker. So we got this guy. He had quite a good view there on a lot of things. So he's down. There's a guard a soldier right there. Sound isn't there just yet, so we'll wait for it and take out this guy too. Hopefully, he hasn't got anybody watching him, so they can call out a dead body. The en enemies in this game seem to have a short um, distance they can see anyway. There's the marker. Got him right in the chin. Through the spine. Body found. Okay, so someone did see that. Maybe if they go towards him, we can take them out as well with a masking sound. I'm not seeing any soldiers go towards him, though. If you, if you look at the map, just behind the car. Normally the guys that are found... Oh, there's a guy on the rooftop there. Okay, there's the guy. That's part spotted the body. Let's take him out. And the back of the neck. There's a guy coming down the ladder as well now. Let's have a long kill cam. Right, so that no one's actually coming towards these body the noises because no one can hear the noise at the shots. They're just seeing bodies on the floor. So we're still, no one knows that we're around just yet. So let's take this guy out next time we get sound. Hopefully he doesn't go inside the building. Come on, give us the marker. There it is. Ooh, I need to take out the car with me there. It's a close shot. All these shots are going through the top of the heads. Any bodies found? Doesn't look like. Okay, on this side we've got these two here. 
Looks like they're having a little chit chat. It's going to be difficult taking out these two because I might be able to take them both out with quick shots. I think it's better to take the guy on the bottom first. Let's try this. Take them both out within the same um, noise of the car. So let's quickly hold our breath again. Or not, because we didn't have time. Just take the shot, because the marker was still there. Okay, so we took out two guys there. It says we're in cover, so enemies might be alerted. But they don't have any clue that it's me. I can hear voices. It doesn't say that they found the body or anything. All clear. So they found two dead bodies, but it's all clear. They don't care. Okay, so... I think there's enemies behind these trucks and like behind these walls. There's one like there. But I don't think they're an issue, really, because we're heading that direction anyway. We just cleared out all the guys on the rooftops and um, maybe two guys over there as well. I think there might be one more guy over there, but he's hidden behind the walls. So I'm going to go and... Oh, we can go behind this passage. So I'm going to take out that guy with a pistol if I see him. Otherwise, just go around him. So the objective is 100 meters that way. Let's look at the map a sec. There we go. So the nearest one, yeah, we have to go through this pass passageway, then to the left. It's just up there in that open section. Maybe we can search a few bodies here as well. Okay, where's that guy? There's a guy here somewhere. I think he's just behind that wall. There he is. Let's take him out the pistol. Okay. Just makes life a bit easier when you know that you've cleared the enemies that are in the general area. So we've got a bandage off that guy. What's this guy got? Sounds like we've got another generator up here somewhere as well. I can hear it. Might need to sabotage it to get... Oh, I think that's... See that marker on the map? Like the speaker. That tells us that there's a thing we can use there to mask our gun sound. So maybe you'd be able to sabotage this. Interact. What does that do? Yeah, it's going to make a noise now, I think. Yep. Hopefully it doesn't cause any enemies to actually walk over to us. I don't even know if there's any enemies around here that we need to kill. I can't see any. We took out quite a few with the, um, the last one, the car exhaust. There's no one up there. So let's carry on going over towards the objective. I think he can go through this tunnel. Just gotta be careful. Hide behind these boxes. Not seeing anyone just yet. Check the map quickly. So we can head up that side. I think that's more of a vantage point. To the left. Okay, so we've got another distraction noise there. I'm not sure if that's the one behind us. We're just going out of range of it, or there's actually something here. Because it seemed to pop up at the top of the screen. Let's see what we've got up on the top of this hill. There's no so there's a soldier right there. Yeah. I could get hide my shot. So we have got noise, which is good. I might snipe this guy in the back of the head from this range, he's just such a close range, because why not? <laughs> we had the sound, so there we go, sound mask. I think I might get to where he was and see what his vantage point was like. I think we can jump small gaps, I remember it. Yep. So we can jump this. I think the sound is actually the flat cannon that we're meant to be getting, meant to be destroying. So okay, there's a guard there. Just gonna mark all these guards up first, just so we know where they all are before we move on. I'm gonna be taking these guys out with the noise of the flat cannon, and then there are guys on the actual cannon themselves. Let's free them. 
It takes two guys to operate it, and there's one guy patrolling around it. Okay. So I'll take this guy out. Um, that's maybe between these mountain, these rocks. If we can get a shot. If, no, can't. Take out this guy instead. The sound on this one's quite short. Sure. We don't get a big bumping window to take the shot. There's another guy. Can we mark him? Oh, he's just gone behind them rocks. I might forget about him. Okay, let's get this guy. You can hear the, the creaking noise as they're setting up the, the cannon. So it gives you a little bit of a warning before the actual sound goes off. Hey! Maybe I thought that. Think, did they find the body? I was definitely covered by the sound. I think there's only one guy maybe alerted. That guy. There's two of them actually. Hey, the sound's gone. This one's really short. Try and get the guy at the back first. So then we hear the creaking noise. That's when it's about to happen. There it is. Missed. It's okay, the guy didn't hear the shot hit but go past him, so we're okay with that. That guy's spotting a body. Get his mate behind him first. Here's the sound coming on its way. Okay, so we took him out. I just wanted to get the guy behind him first, because he would have if we got the guy in front, the guy at the back would have seen him. And while this guy is investigating this body, we'll take him out. I think you can do this game in co-op as well, the story, which would be quite cool if you had a teammate on, like, microphone. Alright, the sound's on its way. Where is it? There it is. Back of the head. Ooh, that's gory. Okay, so we've got one more guy patrolling around the back of the, the objective. Can we get a spot on him, maybe? I don't think there's anyone else around this area. Oh, there's a guy right there. Jesus. <laughs> Just to say there's no one there. Let's take him out the pistol. Just because, you know, he's right He's right in front of us, so it's not hard to get a pistol kill. We've got plenty of bullets with the pistol. Still got, like, 14 shots. So, instead of trying to snipe him from up here, just break my legs first, and then we'll head down there. Let's loot a few guys first. I think we'll um, get this cannon out of the way and then end this part here. Because it's quite a long process of getting through all this stealthily. Taking out each enemy, securing each zone. Okay, so we moved in a bit closer. We've got a good view on on the cannon now. Need to take care of the guy on patrol. Need to leave the guys on the cannon last because they're the ones making the noise. Just break my legs one more time. So okay, as long as that bar doesn't go below the first segment, um, it regenerates. Let's get the pistol out. Might need it for this guy. I think his patrol, he goes inside the building and goes down some stairs. Yeah, there's the stairs there. So we'll take him out, maybe. We'll follow him in the building. Possibly. Or I might just take him out here with the pistol. Yeah, I'm going to take him out here. I hit him once. Okay, he's dead, but also the enemies are now looking for me. I'm so bad with these pistol shots. Okay, so just get out, let's relocate. And we should be alright. Yep, we've ghosted, whatever that means. Hey, there's three guards here. I didn't know there was three. So just... We might just go loud here, because I think in this general area, there's not going to be any reinforcements getting called. Let's just go in this build in a second and see what we've got. See if we've got any windows looking out. And take this guy out. No way that miss. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're dead, mate. <laughs> okay, I said we had a lot of bullets before. We had like 14 bullets. Now we got six. That's not great. Making a mess of this a little bit. So, okay, we got two guys left. Might just be worth throwing a grenade at one. Ok, 
Okay, so we definitely got that guy. Easy. Let's sneak around to this guy. I might just get... I don't think any enemies outside this area will know about this if I kill him with a loud weapon. But let's try and sneakily kill him anyway. Let's go around the back of him while he's inspecting what's going on. Run up behind him. We can melee him. Nice. So we took him out. It wasn't as quiet as I hoped for. Because we messed out with the, the pistol shots. It's only really safe to go for the pistol shot if the guy is standing still and he's fairly close. Because even though you're, the head is in between the markers, it's still easy to miss. Okay, so we've cleared all that. Let's do the objective. What does the actual obje objective consist of? Destroying this? Is there a button to press or have we actually got to assign a dynamite piece to it? I think we might have to put dynamite on it. Let's just see what the objective says. Destroy. Yep. Yeah. And there's no... Can we mark it and see if there's like a weak point? Uh, there's not going to be a weak point, is there? Okay, let's, so let's place this dynamite. And then we can snipe the dynamite from up there. Or we can put some flint and tinder on it. Let's try the flint and tinder technique. Just so I know how it works in the future. So that should start to burn. Yeah, you've got time timer there. 20 seconds. Let's sit back and watch it go. Let's get a sniper rifle. The binoculars actually I'll have a closer look. So you can see that the flint and tinder is burning away. It's going to actually catch fire. And there we go. Looks like we've got to go underneath that, actually. Looking at that. So we definitely took that out. There's no enemies alerted because there's no one actually here to hear it. So yeah, that's pretty... Pretty successful for the first one. More. So thanks for watching guys. I'm going to end this part here and we'll carry on the next part. Taking out the rest of the artillery. There's two more left. Alright. See ya.